AD3X3. Uh, we started with check engine light, ABS light, brake light, pad warning light, airbag light. Pretty much every single light was on the dash. Um, we are down to the 4x4 light. That one right there. The brake light. Those two are actually for the same problem. And the airbag light. Um, the airbag light. Let me just log into it real quick. There's no message from DSC control unit or message is incorrect. That is the message from the uh, from the ABS control module. Um, however, when I erase this full code, right, I'm getting an airbag passenger side stage one. Now, normally this is the mat inside the front seat the uh, occupant detection mat uh, my E9 BMW had the same thing I ended up bypassing it um, it is weird that on and off that uh, incorrect message comes on so now I erase the airbag thing on and we'll read it again it comes back so I don't necessarily believe that that it's a, is a real code, the one with the missing uh, message, whatever. Um, I think this is the real code right here, and I think it's that occupancy um, detection mat. Uh, that's for the airbag light. The brake and the 4x4 light are actually for something... Uh, both lights are related. Um, we'll go into driver. So let me back it up a little. The check engine light was on because of an EVAP purge valve fault code. Um, now we got no codes left. What happened? Um, it was giving me a fault code for uh, activation. It, it couldn't be activated. Um, that lives on the bottom of the intake manifold. I ended up taking the air box out, taking all the snorkels out, taking the throttle body out, and uh, I found it unplugged. So somebody's been there, forgot to hook it back up. I plugged it in and everything is fine. The computer is, uh, is happy and uh, there's no check engine light on anymore. So that's that. The We'll go into gearbox control, which is the transfer case. And this is why the 4x4 and the yellow brake warning light are on. That classification resistor, that fault code 54C8. So as far as I have read, um, Usually it all points out to the um, the transfer case motor. It's a, it's a motor with a sensor that's mounted on the transfer case. And that is, um, there's something going on with it. They have plastic gears inside and it's very common for them to strip those teeth. And then it, it, uh, it won't be able to engage the, um, the 4x4. But that code just not go away. It keeps coming back, keeps coming back. Um, now, let's go into, yeah, let's do transmission too. Transmission is fine. There's no fault codes there as far as I remember. Um, it's thinking, it's going. Um, the brake pad warning light was on. 
I looked, I took the wheels off, I looked at the front sensor, that one was fine, I found nothing wrong with it. I went in the back, I looked at the sensor, that was fine too, but then I dug a little bit deeper and I found two wires that were cut or chewed up, I'm not sure, they were severed. Um, so, I mean, this this car is is gnarly, it's, it's full of uh, creatures, nests, I don't know if they're rats, they're definitely not mice because their droppings are much bigger than mice. Um, it, it was pretty gross. Um, so let's go to, let's go to chassis, chassis, and this is the one, dynamic stability control, basically that's the ABS control module. So. Let's see what that one says. Any day now. Hmm. Okay. We are in the module, so the module is online, um, and these these ghost fault codes, I wouldn't necessarily um, look too much into them, because uh, once you clear them, nothing comes back, so I don't think, I honestly don't think there's a problem with the ABS control module in this car, I think the problem is with the, uh, with the transfer case, and that transfer case motor and resistor. Um, and that's what's causing those two lights over there the 4x4 and the, the yellow brake light and then the airbag light is um, is this seat occupancy sensor so I'm gonna shut it off and you'll see what lights come on the dash and uh, in what order so everything goes away we're left with the 4x4 and then the uh, the brake comes on and obviously um, the airbag so that's where I'm at, you are up to speed.